Before we get started with our program this evening, I ask as a community that we take a moment of silence to acknowledge the lives lost during this global pandemic. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Michelle Vaness Grant, the Director of Student Life at the Fashion Institute of Technology. Thank you to each and every one of you for being present for our Student Life Virtual Awards Ceremony. Today marks a special occasion because we have the opportunity to acknowledge, highlight, and congratulate our students, our clubs, our organizations, and our advisors. I am so proud to be your host this evening. So sit back, relax, and enjoy our virtual awards ceremony. I would like to express my sincere appreciation to all those that nominated students, clubs, organizations, and advisors for the many awards we have to offer this evening. In addition to the awards committee, Marty Sullivan II, Christy Graziano, Aporva Glover, Catlin Michael Wachowski, and Marissa Stefani. You all have generously helped us make this event come together and become a success. We couldn't have done it without you. For over 40 years, the Department of Student Life has been recognizing and honoring our student leaders for their incredible work in and outside of the classroom. This evening, unlike any other, we honor those students, clubs, and organizations that have left a lasting impact on the FIT community at large. All the nominees and winners this evening are passionate, resilient, and their love for FIT is like no other. They are the driving force behind what makes an active campus community. On a daily basis, I am proud to work alongside students and a student body that are intentional, caring, innovative, and dynamic. I am humbled often to be called the director of student life in the midst of COVID-19. I'm also in awe by the engagement of our Student Activities Board, our Student Government Association, and all of our clubs and organizations. You should all be so proud of yourself. You have worked so hard remotely to keep our students connected. I can go on forever and ever, but I don't wanna take up too much time because I wanna leave room for our presenters. Sally Haas and I'm the president of the Student Government Association. I began my role in a newly restructured student government, one that was truly built to advocate for all of our students on campus. Adjusting to this new organization was no small feat, but all 35 newly elected members were undoubtedly up for the challenge. Although we anticipated several obstacles during our transition year, we could not have imagined the immense hardships our team would face. However, each one was handled with the utmost respect, passion, and determination to stay true to our team's purpose. I would like to thank the SGA for choosing to take on several monumental initiatives with the knowledge that they may not see the direct result of their work during their time at FIT. You all chose to stand up for causes that would greatly impact our community, and in doing so, you have left a legacy that will not be forgotten. So thank you to Catlin for leading in the development of this new SGA and for supporting us throughout the entirety of this year's challenges. Thank you to Shadia and Michelle for your consistently thoughtful advisement. Thank you to the SGA for being the most remarkable group of people I have ever had the privilege of working with. It has been an honor to serve in this role and watch as not only the SGA, but all of our clubs and organizations persevered through such a difficult year. So tonight, I want to especially thank every single club and organization. You are an integral part of this community and have stepped up during this pandemic to serve as a bright light through it all. You bring an unbelievable amount of spirit, excitement, and love to FIT. 
I am inspired by everything you have accomplished and have no doubt that you will continue to make all of us at FIT immensely proud. Your impact and legacy are felt not only by me, but by every member of this community. To all of you with us this evening, you have without a doubt made FIT a better place. I sincerely congratulate you and look forward to celebrating with you all. Thank you. Hi, clubs and organizations. It's your program coordinator, Marissa Stefani. I am so incredibly honored to work with you and so proud of your accomplishments. This year, you've reached unprecedented levels of success as a club and organization community. We created seven new clubs. You put together over 370 programs, trips, guest speakers, national conferences, from fashion shows to musicals to student curated exhibitions. This year was like no other. There were over 120 nominations for club awards this year, 120. I hope every single student who was nominated takes a moment to recognize themselves and recognize the pride that their students had in their accomplishments and their impact on the community. I know this year didn't go as planned for any of us, but I thank you for making it remarkable and unprecedented in many ways, because if your commitment to FIT, your commitment to your communities as clubs, you've made this year like no other. I'm so blessed and honored to work with you. I'm so proud of each and every one of you. And I'm wishing you nothing but the best and success. Today, I celebrate you. Congratulations. With love, Marissa Stefani. Now presenting Club and Organization Awards. I have the pleasure of presenting the Collaborative Programming Award. This award will be given to clubs or organizations who have made the most effort to work together in programming and other activities. Please join me in congratulating the LGBTQ Alliance. Congratulations to all the nominees and the 2020 award winners. I will be presenting the Outstanding Annual Program Award. This award is given to the club or organization that has continued to contribute to the FIT community each year with their annual program. Join me in congratulating the Black Retail Action Group for their diversity in the Retail Industry Discussion Panel. I will now be presenting the Program of the Year Award. This award is given to a club or organization who has hosted an event that has heavily impacted the FIT community between Fall 2019 and Spring 2020. Join me in congratulating the Black Student Union for their Black in Time exhibit. Hello, I have the pleasure of presenting the Legacy Award. This award will go to a club or an organization that has been in existence for 10 or more years and has provided exemplary programming and activity or representation on and around campus. This award is presented to the Black Student Union Please join me in congratulating all the nominees and the 2020 award winners. I have the pleasure of presenting the Phoenix Award. This award seeks to recognize a club or an organization who has developed and has shown growth over the course of their existence as a club or an organization. The group demonstrates commitment to strengthening their chapter. So please join me in congratulating the Theatre Club. Congratulations to all the nominees and the 2020 award winners. I have the pleasure of presenting the Publicity Award. This award recognizes the student club or organization with the best publicity campaign of the year. Please join me in congratulating the FIT Theater Club. Congratulations to all the nominees and the 2020 award winners. I have the pleasure of presenting the first ever FitLink Innovation Award. This award recognizes a club or an organization for the outstanding use of the Campus Labs Engage platform FitLink. So please join me in congratulating Cosmetics and Fragrance Marketing Association, CFMA, and Merchandising Society. Congratulations to all the nominees and the 2020 award winners. Good evening. My name is Catlin Michael Wachowski, advisor for the FIT SGA. 
I wanted to take a brief moment to recognize and celebrate all the members of the 2019-2020 FIT Student Government Association. As most of you know, the FIT SGA completely rewrote its constitution last academic year, thus creating a brand new student government focused on student advocacy and support. The SGA created a brand new student senate with representation from each academic major and various student populations, as well as redesigning the president's cabinet to mirror Dr. Brown's cabinet. The outstanding students that made up this year's student government were not only all functioning in a new world, they were essentially figuring out what this new approach to student government would look like and how it would operate. If all that SGA did this year was work out the challenges and hiccups that come with being a new organization, it would be an accomplishment worthy of our praise and admiration. But no, that is not the only thing this group of student leaders accomplished this year. Trust me, I have the hundreds of emails in my inbox to prove it. No. This group of exceptional leaders helped lead the student body through some of the most challenging and difficult experiences in FIT's 75-year history. SGA has been there both behind the scenes and out there in the community as it relates to everything from our current crisis dealing with the coronavirus to working to try to heal the community as a result of the MFA fashion show and student concerns in the classroom experience. When last year's SGA worked on restructuring student government, the work of this year's members was the idea or goal of what a student government could accomplish and do. As the advisor, I figured it would take a few years to get the organization up and running in a manner necessary to tackle the issues and challenges that this year's SGA has worked on. It didn't take years. Heck, it didn't even take months. That is absolutely a result of each and every single member, either elected, appointed, or hired. Every single one of you should be proud of the advocacy and support that you both fought for and championed. The accomplishments of this year's SGA will be long lasting and forever change the FIT community for the better. Whether it is improvements made to the classroom experience related to faculty evaluations or to ensuring that FIT continues to be a leader in efforts related to sustainability and climate change, you all have left your mark and that absolutely needs to be celebrated. However, what is maybe most impressive has been the collective response from the SGA related to supporting your peers during this time of crisis. For those of you that don't know, the SGA has committed hundreds of thousands of dollars to supporting FIT's Student Emergency Relief Fund, as well as establishing its own programs designed to support students in their time of need. They did this all because they saw a need, not because the administration asked them to. These efforts were student-driven. As your advisor, it has been an honor to get to work with you and to see all the positive things you brought to this institution. I know this is not how any of us envisioned closing out this groundbreaking and influential year for the SGA, but nothing about this year has been how we envisioned, so it's kind of fitting in a way. I know at times it was not easy, and at times it was frustrating and stressful and hard, but you never gave up. And because of your drive, passion, and dedication, FIT is better off. So for that reason, and so many more, I just wanted to tell all of you how proud I am to be part of what you did. FIT will never be the same because of you. And for all of our graduating members of the SGA, FIT won't be the same without you. On behalf of your peers, the faculty, and administration, I want to say thank you for an amazing year. Now presenting Club and Organization Awards. I have the pleasure of presenting the first ever People's Choice Award. The People's Choice Award is a new award introduced for 2020. The People's Choice Award recognizes a club or an organization for their overall success, commitment, impact at FIT and beyond, community development, etc. So this year's winner is the Black Student Union, BSU. Congratulations to all the nominees and the 2020 award winners. I have the pleasure of presenting the most financially responsible award. This award is presented to the most financially responsible club or organization of the academic year. Please join me in congratulating Production Management Club. Congratulations to all the nominees and the 2020 award winners. The Diversity and Inclusion Award. This award seeks to recognize a club or organization who demonstrated a commitment to inclusion and diversity. This club or org promotes FIT's awareness of diversity and inclusion through their club and organization activities, meetings, and programs. Please join me in congratulating the Black Student Union FIT BSU. Congrats to all the nominees and the 2020 award winners. Hello. I have the pleasure of presenting the Community Service Award. 
This award is given to a club or an organization that has provided valuable service to the community, that is, through charity work, joint projects with community, organizations, etc. Please join me in congratulating FIT Outreach. Congratulations to all the nominees and the 2020 award winners. The Communication Council Award. This recognition will be awarded to the publication that has excelled in producing creative, accurate, and meaningful content that encompasses the attitude of FIT. This involves the institution's areas of specialization, including business, art, technology, and fashion. Please join me in congratulating Blush Magazine. Congratulations to all the nominees and the 2020 award winners. Hello everyone, my name is Denise Delgado Pasante and I am one of the program coordinators in the Department of Student Life. This evening, I am honored to highlight the accomplishments of the FIT Student Activities Board. In spring 2019, the Student Senate voted to separate programming from the Student Government Association. This vote served as a catalyst for great change and created the college's first independent student activities board. Led by Marissa Earle, members of the programming committee worked for six weeks to create what are now the SAB policies and procedures. Marissa, the SAB stands strong because of your vision and leadership. Thank you. Several applications and interviews later, 11 students took a chance on something new and served as the first SAB cohort. In one year, the SAB has made profound moves in creating community on campus. We danced together at the Latino block party, screamed at the Coraline Halloween event, and who can forget smashing plates in the breezeway to relieve the stress of finals. Spring semester was different. Through cancellations, remote learning, and adjusting to a new normal, the SAB persevered virtually. We now have TikTok Tuesdays, Spanish for the Soul, Cooking with Kim, Art with Audrey, and most recently, our virtual drag bingo with RuPaul Drag Race, Monique Hart. I am immensely proud of what this group has accomplished in just one year. Success has made possible by strong leadership, and our president, Faith, exemplifies just that. She continues to lead with grace, empathy, and creates a space for her team to thrive. SAB, I am honored to serve as your supervisor and look forward to your continued growth. Thank you to every student, club, and department who collaborated with us, reposted our events, and attended our programs. Our first year was a success because of your support. Congratulations to the SAB and all our student groups who have made and continue to make a difference at FIT. Thank you. Now presenting Club and Organization Awards. The new Club or Organization of the Year Award is given to a club founded between fall 2019 and spring 2020. Despite being new to FIT, tonight's winner has shown great promise and potential. In its relatively short existence, tonight's winner has contributed positively to the FIT community. Please welcome this year's recipient of the new Club or Organization Award. Her Campus FIT. Congratulations and thank you for all of the nominees. Hello, I have the pleasure of presenting the Outstanding New Student Award. This award will go to a new student that has contributed to their club or organization through dedication and service. This person shows great potential and promise in leading in the future. Please join me in congratulating Ashleen Tutija from the Indian Cultural Society. Congratulations to all the nominees and the 2020 award winners. I have the pleasure of presenting the Outstanding Member Award. This award seeks to recognize the achievements and dedication of a club or organization member. This student has demonstrated outstanding commitment and service to their club or organization. Please join me in congratulating Lauren Westerhide from PRSSA. Congratulations to all the nominees and 2020 award winners. Hello. I am happy to present the eBoard Member of the Year. This award will be given to an executive board member, including but not limited to a vice president, treasurer, or secretary member who has shown passion and dedication to their club or organization and the FIT campus community. This officer has pushed their club or organization members to a new level of success. Please join me in congratulating Molly Diamato from the Theater Club. Congratulations to all the nominees and the 2020 award winners. I have the pleasure of presenting the Advisor of the Year Award. 
This award is presented to the advisor who has provided leadership and guidance to a student organization and motivated members to their fullest potential. Please join me in congratulating Raven Patrick, advisor to the Black Student Union, BSU. Congratulations to all the nominees and 2020 award winners. I have the pleasure of presenting the President of the Year Award. This award will be given to the president of a club or organization that has shown the most passion and dedication to his or her club or organization and has pushed their members to a new level of success. Please join me in congratulating Apoorva Grover from the Indian Cultural Society. Congratulations to all the nominees and the 2020 award winners. Club or Organization of the Year. This award will go to a club or organization that has provided valuable service to the college and the FIT community through contribution to campus life. In addition, this club or organization has proven loyalty to the college and faculty through involvement with their programming on campus. This club or organization demonstrates extraordinary community service, collaborative programming, excellent fundraising efforts, and has created new programs for the FIT student body. Please join me in congratulating the Black Student Union. Congratulations to all the nominees and the 2020 award winners. Each semester, the Department of Student Life offers a Leadership Weekend Retreat for up to 100 students interested in developing their leadership skills to travel off campus and engage in leadership activities. I would like to take a moment to thank the amazing professional staff and student facilitators who without their assistance, this retreat would not be possible. Professional staff, Sarah Guzman, Hilary Higginbottom, Michael King, Marissa Stefani, Marty Sullivan III, and Katlyn Wachowski. Student facilitators, Kia Ayers Goss, Stacy Charles, Christian J. Concepcion, Sally Haas, Rocher McFarlane, Susie Nisthaus, Ava Pina, Michelle Sparrow, and Brian Wexler Rubenstein. In addition, I would like to acknowledge the clubs and organizations who participated in Leadership Weekend, dedicating their time to developing their leadership and group problem solving skills, and then bringing what they learned back to their club members on campus. Hello everyone, my name is Christy Graziano, Associate Director of Student Life and advisor to the FIT's chapter of Phi Theta Kappa, Beta Theta Sigma. It is my honor to highlight the achievements of this year's chapter. Led by their chapter president, Nicole Gihan, the five officers worked tirelessly to represent FIT and earn five-star chapter status, which is no easy feat. They increased student involvement in the organization, gave back to the community through weekly community service, and completed a research project that focused on the issues of food waste and food insecurity on college campuses. Through their work with the nonprofit organization Rescuing Leftover Cuisine, the PTK team spent each Friday afternoon rescuing ex excess food from corporate partners and delivering it to human service agencies across New York City. To date, PTK rescued 1,123 pounds of food, which created 936 meals for those in need. They use this volunteer opportunity of, as active research for their Honors in Action project, working to solve the question, can food waste on college campuses solve the problem of food insecurity among college students? Their hard work paid off as this project won the Distinguished Project Award and Distinguished Project Theme Award at both the New York State Regional Conference and International Catalyst Conference, being chosen over hundreds of other chapters. In addition, both Nicole Gihan, President, and Mary Richards, VP of Scholarship, were selected for the New York State All Academic Team. It was my honor to advise these remarkable students this academic year. Their hard work and determination and commitment to the organization and one another was extraordinary. Please join me in congratulating Nicole Gihan, President, Mary Richards, VP of Scholarship, Katrina Shi, VP of Membership, Anya Swap, VP of Fundraising, Skyla Wasorski, VP of Fellowship and Service, for the amazing year. Hello, my name is Denise Delgado Passante, and I am one of the program coordinators in the Department of Student Life. I am here to present the Amy LeCicero Extracurricular Service Award. For the Amy LeCicero Extracurricular Service Award, an advisor and or faculty member nominated the recipient of this award. 
This award is presented to a fourth semester student who has given outstanding service in the area of extracurricular activities to the college. The recipient of this award will receive a $1,500 award. Tonight's winner has gone above and beyond what's expected of the average student and their intelligence, warmth, and sensitivity to other issues present as hallmarks of a strong leader. Please join me in congratulating our 2020 award winner, Lyle Rea. Thank you, Denise. Hi, my name is Catlin Michael Okowski and I am the counselor in the Department of Student Life. I am here to present the Marion Brandeis Extracurricular Service Award. This award is presented to an eighth semester student who is giving outstanding service in the area of extracurricular activities to the college. The recipient of this award will receive a one-time $1,500 payment. Tonight's winner is one of the most skilled leaders that I have encountered. Their ability to navigate a college administration, meet with many constituents including students, staff, and administration, all while being able to articulate questions, needs, and requests while maintaining enthusiasm is truly something remarkable. Please join me in congratulating our 2020 award winner, Sally Haas. Thank you, Callan. Hi, my name is Christy Graziano and I am the Associate Director of Leadership and Civic Engagement and I'm here to present the Michael A. Noeth Service Award. Named in honor of draftsman second class Michael A. Noeth of the United States Navy and an alumni of FIT, class of 1994, who died in the line of duty on September 11, 2001. This award is presented to a graduating student who through selfless commitment to the FIT community demonstrates outstanding leadership, service, and creative programming skills. Tonight's winners are students who exemplify all the qualities needed for the Michael A. Noeth Service Award. Dedication to all FIT students, a commitment to excellence and service, and a willingness to go above and beyond to make the FIT experience outside of the classroom one that they will remember after they graduate. Please join me in congratulating this year's recipients, Brian Wexler Rubenstein and Michelle Sparrow. Thank you, Christy. Hello, my name is Hermes Torres and I am the technical supervisor in the Department of Student Life. I am here to present the Philip Milio Leadership Award. Leadership Weekend is one of the most popular and longest standing student life initiatives and it could not happen without the work of our staff and faculty facilitators. If you served as a Leadership Weekend staff or faculty facilitator this year, the Department of Student Life and the FIT Student Government Association thank you for giving your time and talent to make the program a success. The Philip Milio Leadership Award is named in honor of Professor Philip Milio, a former counselor of student life at FIT who developed Leadership Weekend over 40 years ago. This award is presented to a student who has participated in the FIT Student Government Association Leadership Weekend retreat during their time as a student at FIT. The recipient of this award has grasped the lessons of Leadership Weekend and applied them on our campus to enable others to succeed. In addition, tonight's winners have jumped in headfirst to every opportunity available to further develop themselves, their strengths and leadership skills. They are reliable, genuine, and adaptable, and have a desire to make a difference in the community and beyond. Tonight's winners include Stacy Charles and Kaylee McCarthy. Please join me in congratulating our 2020 awards winner. Thank you, Hermes. Hi, my name is Jacob Ewing, and I am the Department Coordinator in the Department of Student Life, and I am here to present the Sylvia Galvarin Rising Star Award. Sylvia Galvarin was a former faculty and mentor at FIT. She was known for cultivating potential in students and recognizing students' abilities often before they realize them within themselves. This award is given to a student who demonstrates a commitment to student life at FIT and has the potential to build a legacy on campus. This award is designed to recognize a student who may not be as heavily involved, but nonetheless leaves an impact and is a rising star in our eyes. This evening's winner has a passion for raising awareness for issues around sustainability that combine with hard work, an open spirit, creative vision, drive for cross-cultural understanding, and collaboration and innovation, all combined to make them a strong choice for this award. 
The winner of the 2020 Sylvia Galvarin Rising Star Award is Nina Lerner. Congratulations, Nina. Thank you, Jacob. Hi, my name is Shanda Richardson Smith, and I am the secretary for the Department of Student Life. And I am here to present the Peter Vogel Silver Leadership Keys. The Student Senate and Club Collective nominates and presents this award to five non-graduating students who have exhibited leadership qualities and extracurricular activities within the FIT community. I am very happy to announce the winners of the 2020 Peter Vogel Leadership Keys in no particular order. Alyssa Feliz, Christian J. Concepcion, Apoorva Grover, Kiara Keys Williams, and Videhi Bagrodia. Congratulations. Hello, my name is Deborah Payton Jones, and I am the volunteer coordinator here in the Department of Student Life. And I am here to present the Peter Vogel Gold Leadership Keys. The Student Government Association nominates and presents this award to 10 graduating students, associates, or bachelor's degree, who have exhibited leadership qualities in extracurricular activities within the FIT community. I am happy to announce the winner of the 2020 Peter Vogel Leadership Keys in no particular order. Catherine Pryor, Claire Ann Belt, Michelle Sparrow, Jacqueline Hanna, Sydney Bigelow, Casey Rosales, Nicole McGraw, Delesha Paris, Brian Wexler Rubenstein, Karam Usami. Again, congratulations on all of your hard work and accomplishments while here at FIT. You will be missed, but your work will go on in our memory. Thank you and stay safe. Thank you, Deborah. Hi, my name is Michelle Vaness Grant, and I am here to present the Max Meyer Memorial Award. Named in honor of Max Meyer, co-founder of FIT, this award is given to a student who has demonstrated outstanding involvement with campus life and clubs, who through service has exemplified a commitment to the enhancement of the FIT community. The Student Center presents this award to a graduating student who has exhibited leadership qualities within the FIT community. The recipients of this award has demonstrated significant progress towards achieving their leadership potential through campus and community involvement. A plaque displaying their name of past winners will be displayed on the seventh floor of the David Dubinsky Student Center. Please join me in wishing the 2020 Max Meyer Memorial Award to Sally Haas. This concludes our 2020 Virtual Leadership Awards Gala. Thank you to everyone for being present and staying with us through the end. I also want to give a special shout out to our families. Thank you for pouring into our students. We appreciate you immensely. And also, thank you to the advisors. Being a faculty advisor to a club and organization is no easy feat, but you advisors, you make it look so easy. So thank you so much. Again, I couldn't do what I do without my fabulous team, the Department of Student Life. Thank you so much for your time, your energy, your love that you pour into our students on a daily basis. I appreciate you immensely. I appreciate you more than you know. So special shout out, Denise Delgado Pisante, Catlin Michael Wachowski, Marissa Stefani, Christy Graziano, Shanda Richardson Smith, Deborah Peyton Jones, Hermes Torres, Jacob Ewing, and Karina Gents. Thank you, thank you, thank you. On March 16th, many of us ended up working remotely, but several of our team ended up staying on campus. And so we wanted to just put together this thank you tribute for protecting our campus, for keeping FIT safe and for leaving your own families to be the frontline and the frontline responders. We appreciate you, we thank you, and we hope to see you soon. Every day, 
decent and dedicated individuals report to work during this pandemic while we remain in the safety of our homes. To the healthcare and transit workers, the office cleaners and janitors, grocery workers, public safety and maintenance teams, meat packers, postal workers, delivery drivers, migrant workers, and so many more, you are in our prayers. We want to thank all those who sacrificed to provide essential services at FIT. We acknowledge and applaud your dedication. FIT is a better place because of you. Thank you. I just wanted to send a special thank you to all those working on campus to keep FIT up and running while most of us are still working from home. Thank you all very much. Thank you so much for all you've done. Pulling off a virtual ceremony takes a lot of work behind the scenes. And I would be remiss if I didn't thank the Enrollment Management Student Success Team, the Communications and External Relations Team, our Information Technology Departments, our Audiovisual Departments, for assisting us in making this a reality. I appreciate you and thank you so much on behalf of the 2020 Student Life Virtual Awards Committee. To the class of 2020, you did it, you made it. You are now officially part of the FIT Alumni Club. Not too many people say they can do that or be that. In the midst of a pandemic, you were resilient, you pushed through, and you completed your degree. Now, we may not be walking at Radio City, but note, we will be together again in the fall. Congratulations to you. Again, to everyone who was present, to everyone that was with us through the evening, thank you so much for your time and your energy and your patience. We appreciate you. I appreciate you. God bless and have a wonderful evening.